And with that, Wildcat Volleyball is on the air from St. Paul and the Butler Center. Matt Nelson with you for tjsportsonline.net alongside of engineer Tom Ritchie. We welcome you into St. Paul as the Wildcats host a Saturday afternoon matinee MIAC Volleyball contest with the Gustavus Adolphus College Gusties. And the Wildcats today will have their work cut out for them. The Wildcats come in with a record of 7-6. and 0-4 so far in what is a grueling opening portion of their MIAC schedule. On the other side of the ledger, Gustavus College, they're nationally ranked. They come in ranked 11th in the nation, and they are sporting a 13-2 record and a 4-0 mark in the MIAC. Last time out for these two teams. For Gustavus, it was another uh, match in St. Paul. That was up the road against McAllister and the Gusties swept that win uh, three sets to none and they were led, really their service game was the difference in that one. They had 10 aces and Kate Holton led the way with her seven kills for the Wildcats. Their last time out, that was against Augsburg in Minneapolis and the Wildcats fell by way of the sweep. So far in the MIAC, I mentioned the record for St. Kate's 0-4 record, but this team may be better than that record indicates. When you look at the opening portion of their MIAC schedule, it has been a grind to say the very least. Some of the top ranked teams in the MIAC have been on these first four opening matches. St. Ben's, Bethel, St. Mary's, Augsburg, and today Gustavus. So you look at the schedule, you've got Gustavus today. After that, it softens up a bit. McAllister, St. Olaf, uh, Carlton, Hamlin, before wrapping up the season against a very good St. Thomas team. But you take a look at uh, the conference standings in your Augsburg, St. Mary's, your Bethel's, your St. Ben's, and obviously your Gustavus's of the world are right up there around the top. So it will be a test, no doubt about that, for Todd Nelson and this Wildcat volleyball team. Tonight's broadcast is a presentation of the University of St. Catharines and produced by TJ Broadcast Services. Our website, tjsportsonline.net. Our broadcast tonight is brought to you in part by Goodmanson Construction, Twin Cities Orthopedics, Universal Athletics, Northfield Lines, People's Electric, Fury Motors, The Ryan Company, The Hickey Family, U.S. Bank, The Loeffler Companies, Cone Elevators and Escalators, The Opus Group, Shapco Printing, Sodexo, Terra General Contractors, The O'Neill Group, Protect Designs, and floors by Becker. I mentioned this Gustavus team. They have been led, when you look at their star players, Hannah Albers is off to a great start, two and a half kills per set, but Kate Holton, uh, this sophomore out of Rochester Mayo High School, what a season she's having. Again, just an underclassman, a sophomore. Nora Holton does the setting, senior, uh, so you got that family connection. And Nora, the setter, has 1.75 kills per set. So she's almost got two kills per set as well. So on that side, of the gusty side of the net, you got to watch out on second contact. Holton can send it over at any given time. But the two Holtons, uh, Nora with nine, just under 10 assists per set. And then Kate Holton with three and a third kills per set and a very robust 244 hitting percentage. For these two teams, it's their 69th all-time meeting. Gustavus leads the all-time series with 42 wins, and the last meeting between these two teams was back on September 30th. That was in St. Peter, and the Gusties won that match three sets to none. The Wildcats have dropped their first four sets in the MIAC. Gustavus is riding a five-match winning streak. Let's hear from our sponsors. When we come back, it'll be time for first serve in the national anthem, MIAC Volleyball from St. Paul on TJSportsOnline.net. Proud sponsor of Wildcat Athletics since 1971 is Universal 
athletic. Their team has been passionate about fueling the dreams of athletes, and they put all their know-how into doing just that by servicing and selling athletic gear to your local athletes, high schools, and colleges. Universal Athletic has dedicated its heart and soul to the support of sports, fitness, and health programs in schools and communities. Bring you back in here, Matt Nelson back with you. Wildcat Athletics is back on the air on tjsportsonline.net. Hoping to hear from some of our sponsors, but that's all right, we can do it the old fashioned way. Todd Nelson is in his second season at the helm for St. Kate's. His team is clinging to a record above 500 with a seven and six mark, but I mentioned their last time out, they fell at the hands of the Augies. It was a 3-0 sweep. Martin Luther, a win that uh, bookended that game, against, that match against Augsburg. That was back on the 24th, and the Wildcats swept that one. The remaining MIAC matches that I mentioned, they did take a set from St. Mary's, but were swept by Bethel, and did take one as well from St. Ben's before falling 3-0 to the Augies. Got about 90 seconds till a national anthem, and then first serve. Wildcats and Gusties here with you on a Saturday from St. Paul. Twin Cities Orthopedics, they offer a full spectrum of orthopedic care to individuals suffering sports-related problems and injuries. Their doctors are team physicians for St. Catharines University, Augsburg University, and Hamlin University, as well as others. Visit TCOMN.com. For exceptional service and selection, look no further than Fury Motors St. Paul. The number one family-owned uh, dealer to buy a Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, or Ram since 1963. So much to choose from, and they make the shopping process easy. Also offering genuine service and financing. Visit stpaul.furymotors.com for more information. Wildcats and Gusties, MIEC Volleyball coming your way here today on TJ Sports. Online.net, and we thank People's Electric Company for their support. They're your full service electrical contractor. They're one of the upper Midwest's largest. From building and process automation, communication, construction services, energy savings, testing, and maintenance, they were founded all the way back in 1922, and they're located right here in St. Paul. So check out their website, People's Co. Dot com and we thank them for their support as well. It sounds like it's anthem time. We'll go downstairs and then we'll bring it back upstairs for first serve Gusties and Wildcats on a Saturday. <laughs> We'll keep it downstairs here for starting lineup. Thank you. 
With that, we are ready for Wildcat Volleyball. We welcome you back in alongside of engineer Tom Ritchie. I'm Matt Nelson. Both teams have taken the court and ready. We've gotten to know our starters. Resetting the stage for you, Rochelle Sheridan is the head coach for Gustavus Adolphus College. They are nationally ranked just outside of the top 10 looking in at number 11 in the country, a 13 and 12 overall record and a 4 and 0 mark in this tough MIAC conference for St. Kate's and the Wildcats. Seven and six overall, and an 0-4 mark in the MIAC. They're looking for their first conference win of 2018. They'll have their work cut out for them if they want to find that win today. Gustavus, the road blacks trimmed in gold with the black trunks for the Wildcats home whites. Purple numerals trimmed in yellow and the black trunks. Wildcats will serve it first with Brooke Munning. She's back and off we go. A jump serve on the way, just off of the tape and it's an ace. Wildcats score first off of the service ace from Bunning. Brooke Bunning, a sophomore, New London, Minnesota. That's an area that the Wildcats in basketball and volleyball have recruited very aggressively. Gustavus' first swing of the afternoon comes from Hansen. Wildcats dig it out nicely. Now Nelson takes a crack at it for St. Kate's. Nothing doing there. Holton rolls one over, and it is a hitting error hit into the net. Kate Holton has been very good this year, 244 hitting percentage and more than three kills per set. On this one, though, she misfires. It's 2 0. The home team, the Wildcats, with the lead. Settling underneath it is Holton. She sets left side, and it's going to be the first kill of the afternoon for Kate Holton. The aforementioned Kate Holton, her first try was a hitting air. This one, much better. Got through a pair of Wildcat defenders, and it cuts the Wildcats' lead in half. Holton back to serve. Nifty pass ahead for Bunning, setting left side. And the Wildcats score it there. It is a point for Mackenzie Pepper. More than two kills per set on the season for Pepper, the senior out of Osceola, Wisconsin, hitting almost 250 on the season. She has her first, and it's a three to one lead. Ukmers works it ahead. Left side swing, Albers, that's out of bounds. Wildcats lead it four to one. Brittany Luthmers, the libero senior veteran player on a prior lake. Four and a half digs. First set, Nelson to serve. Another one off of the tape. Didn't see this one coming. The Wildcats have their second ace and a four point lead over the nationally ranked Gusties. Good start in set one. Wildcats have come out and played well. Four pass from Holton, chased down by Luthmers. Left side swinging there is Albers. It's on a bounce. As Davis has come out very cold offensively, and the Wildcats retain a five point lead. I should say they build a five point lead. As that's just short into the tape, service error for Nelson. First of the afternoon for St. Kate's. It's six to two, and Luthmers will head back to serve it for the Gusties. 13 and two on the season. Their last time out, a sweep of the Scots from McAllister. 
Munning back sets Pepper on the right side. She was blocked. And it's going to be a point for Gustavus, first block of the afternoon. And it belongs to Albers and Welsh. Kaikeo Welsh, first block. She's had a good year offensively. The freshman out of Kansas City, Missouri. Bunning sets left side. Big swing off of that left side for the Wildcats. Isaacson's first try. Dug out, worked ahead, and bumped over by Welsh. Wildcats are there to handle it. Nelson out of the back row. Missed long, and it's six to four. The Gusties, who uh, trailed by as many as five, have trimmed that lead to just two. Loopmer's serve, good run with the Gusty Libero at the service line, but the Wildcats score it. In the middle, it's the veteran, Hannah Flatness. Quick set by Bunning. Flatness was there to bury it out of the middle. One, one and a third kills per set for Flatness. She has her first, and the Wildcats lead it by three. Perfect pass ahead for Holton. Tapped out of the middle, it's Welsh, and she scores. The point for Kaikea Welsh. Out of Kansas City, Park Hill High School. Seven to five. Cox set the service line for the Gusties, trailing by two. Bunning sets left side, Isaacson attacks, and that's long, out of bounds, and it's a one-point set. This afternoon's broadcast is interactive. We want to hear from you, the listener. You can drop us an email, wildcatsbooth at gmail.com, wildcatsbooth at gmail.com, as Isaacson sends this one back over. That's whether you're rooting for the Gusties or the Wildcats. Let us know who you're rooting for. And where you're listening from as we've got a kill from Hannah Albers on the left side. Another one from the Show Me State, St. Louis, Missouri. Webster Groves High School, 5'9", senior is Albers. We're all tied up at seven apiece and a service error off the hands of Kate Holton. First service error for Gustavus. Wildcats have one of their own and they reclaim an eight to seven lead. So whether you're listening on your smart TV or your phone or your iPad, your laptop, wherever you're listening, drop us a note, wildcatsbooth at gmail.com. We'll make sure to get you a shout out on air and let us know who it is you're rooting for. Back row tries dug out by Isaacson. Setting right side, attacking there are the Wildcats and it's out of bounds. Emily Carmen misfires, no touch at the net. It's a point for Gustavus. We're all tied up at eight and Albers back to serve. Albers, from service, passed ahead nicely out of the back row. Turned away was Tebbin out of the middle. Now Carmen will take a rip at it, and it's blocked. It was absolutely stifled. The first block for Gustavus, Holton, and Welsh were there. Nora Holton and Kaikeo Welsh. Gustavus leads for the first time, 9-8. to eight. Right side try, Isaacson scores. We're all tied up, back and forth we go. First kill for Lauren Isaacson, freshman from down south in Minnesota, fair ball. Just over two kills per set and a 155 hitting percentage. Nine apiece, set number one. Not the best pass by Cox that she'll ever have and it's actually gonna be a service ace. Third ace of the first set for St. Kate's. Great start from the service line. That's a place where Gustavus was very good on Wednesday against McAllister. They had 10 aces in that three set victory over the Scots. Left side, Holton just got it down in the nick of time. Kate Holton didn't get much on it. Had a smile on her face as she came down. It's not gonna be the best swing that she has all season long, but it was good enough to just squeak it inside of the tape. 10 apiece, Wildcats were the first to 10. Gustavus didn't take long in joining them. Anderson back to serve. That one's picked out of the net, sent back over and dug out by Carmen. Now right side try, Isaacson, dug out by Albers, back over the net and a whistle as over the net was called against St. Kate's. So a point for Gustavus, they lead at 11 to 10. Rochelle Sheridan, ninth season on that Gustavus bench for the Wildcats, Todd Nelson, his second campaign. The coach and players getting a brief explanation of the call. Ellie Anderson back to serve, sophomore. 
playing in her hometown today. Grew up in St. Paul. Gusties by one, Nelson left side. Oh, she got it through the block and scored. Didn't look like there was much of a area to attack. Hagen and Holton were there on the block. But Nelson used brute force to squeeze it through and has her first kill. 11 off. Holton over on second contact. Dug out, but it's down. I mentioned in the pregame show, you gotta watch out for Nora Holton, the KG veteran, the senior. Pretty good setter, just under 10 assists per set. And to go along with it, she's an offensive threat on that second touch, just under two kills per set as well. So on your average three setter, she's gonna have six kills by the end of the day. You gotta really know, mark her and know what she's up to. Lauren Hansen has her first kill for the Gusties. Hansen, two and a half kills per set, puts Gustavus on top by two. Amaker receives the serve for the Wildcats. Works ahead for Schwarz Rock, who sets left side, and uh, Nelson, a hitting error, so a point for Gustavus. Their three point lead is their biggest of the afternoon. Or Holton back to serve. Rochester Mayo High School. Schwarz Rock sets right side. Carmen attacks, dug out nicely by Albers. Holton to Holton left side. That's been a good combo for the Gussies this year. That time dug out of the back row. And Nelson tried to get a little bit uh, fancy. Tried to kind of work that one around her shoulder and keep it inside of the antenna instead of hitting error for Nelson. And a timeout from Todd Nelson. It's our first of this first set. It's a 15 to 11 lead. The nationally ranked Gusties out on top early. As a family-owned and operated business since 1971, Goodmanson Construction continues to develop concrete relationships with their commercial and residential customers throughout the Upper Midwest. Questions or concerns about concrete, asphalt, and the company's installation process, check out their website at GoodmansonConstruction.com. Thank you, Goodmanson Construction. Bring you back into the Butler Center, welcoming you back. Matt Nelson with you for Wildcat Volleyball. Things started uh, very well for St. Kate's, to say the very least. They actually sprung out to a 6-1 to one lead. Since then, Gus Davis has looked more true to their 2018 form. They lead it 15-11. to 11. Roll shot out of the back row. Holton sets right side, and an easy kill there. No block in the way of Lauren Hansen, the right side hitter. Has her second kill right on her season average. It's a 16 to 11 lead. And right now the Gusties are rolling. They have momentum. Nora Holton at the service line. And she comes up short on the service error. A point for St. Kate's, one that they desperately needed. And they lead it 16 to 12. Brooke Bunning back in. She'll serve with her libero, Grace Amaker, just in front of her. Holton will set left side, roll shot there for Hansen. Bunning sets middle, flatness was dug out by Luthmers, now sent back over by Haugen, and she scores it. Sam Haugen, one and a half kills per set. Good hitting percentage this year for the middle blocker, the senior out of Becker, Minnesota. 242, and she has her first. 17 to 12, your score. Dusty's on top, Bunning sets left side. Carmen scores! Emily Carmen has her first kill, the senior out of Maple Grove. Hitting just shy of 200 on the season, a 190 hitting percentage. She has her first kill. And the Wildcats trailing by four will send Nelson back to the service line. Luthmer is ahead for Holton, out of the middle. Big swing for Haugen in her second kill of this first set. Haugen's been a good defensive player this year as well for Gustavus, 44 blocks. 18-13 score. 
Luthmers at the service line. Bunning sets left side. Isaacson, Luthmers was there. Holton picked it out of the net, bumped over by Albers. Wildcats should have a good look at it. Here comes Pepper, who scores. Mackenzie Pepper, the senior out of Osceola, Wisconsin, scores her first kill. Wildcats down by four. 17 to eight run by Gustavus. Into the middle they go, and they were blocked. It's a Wildcat block. Welsh was turned away out of the middle in there. Bunning was in there, Tebbin was in there, and it's the first block of the afternoon for St. Kate's. Gusties have a pair. Luthmers chases this one down, sends it all the way back over for Albers. There's Nelson ready for it. Wildcats will try Pepper out of the back row. Luthmers was ready. Holton sets right side. Turned away there was Hansen. She taps it over with two hands, but Amaker couldn't chase it down, couldn't keep it alive, got a fingernail on it. That's about it. And it's a 19-15 Gustavus lead. That was a big one. Reminder, today's broadcast is interactive. The Wildcat inbox is open. Wildcats booth at gmail.com. Drop us a note. Let us know where you're listening from this afternoon on a Saturday, where you're enjoying your weekend. Or maybe you got called into work on Saturday and, and you're watching at your desk. We won't tell. It's a 20 to 15 Gustavus lead. The Wildcats down by five. It's crunch time in this first set. And Todd Nelson takes his second timeout. You're listening to Wildcat Volleyball. A proud sponsor of Wildcat Athletics since all the way back in 1971, the Universal Athletic Team has been passionate about fueling the dreams of athletes, and they put all their know-how into doing just that. By servicing and selling athletic gear to local athletes, high schools, and colleges, Universal Athletic has dedicated its heart and soul to the support of sports, fitness, and health programs in schools and communities. Transporting Wildcat athletes is in the capable hands of Northfield Lines Incorporated, dedicated to ensuring that your travel experience is a positive one. Call to request a quote or to make a reservation at 888-670-8068 or visit their website at northfieldlines.com. Gusties by five with Kylie Cox, the freshman out of Brooklyn Center. Back and ready to serve. Here comes Cox, dug out by Nelson, worked ahead. Amaker sent it to the left side and it was mishit there. Pretty tough work for Lauren Isaacson. She didn't have anywhere really to attack. Tried to make the best of it, hit it into the twine and it results in a six point lead for the Gusties. 69th all-time meeting between these two teams. Gusty serving left to right across your monitors. Bunning sends it over on second contact. Holton was there and waiting for it. Here comes Albers who scores. A powerful, booming swing from Hannah Albers. She has her second kill and Gustavus looks like they're well on their way. Nelson back to the bench. Wheeler in. Our first email into the Wildcats booth at gmail.com. 22-15 score right now. Miranda Sweely is watching from Chile, Duluth, Minnesota. And of course, rooting for the Wildcats. No surprise on that one. They need a big, strong push here late in this first set as that one's going to be put down off of the right side. A point for the Gusties. Thank you, Miranda, for writing in. And thank you for tuning in and spending a part of your weekend with us. Greatly appreciate it. And I can imagine it is chilly in Duluth. I wouldn't want to guess. I mean, it's pretty cool in the Twin Cities today. I think 46 degrees. I normally just subtract 10 when I want to know how cold it is in Duluth. Big swing out of the middle, kept alive. Here comes Albers. She squeezes it through with the left hand. Amaker is there, setting the left side. Swing by Isaacson. Luthmers, nice dig by the Gusty Libero. Albers again, kept alive. Isaacson, chased down by Wheeler and sent back over by Amaker. Out of the middle, Holton, you gotta watch out for her. And she did it again, that setter is awfully good. Nora Holton, any time that she thinks she can on second contact, she's gonna send that thing back over and that's exactly what she did. Cox at the service line, it's set point here in this first set. One that started so well for St. Kate's, Luthmer is the dig. Holton sets Albers and Albers 
The senior out of St. Louis puts it away and ends this first set, her third kill. And a set that started so promising for St. Kate's ends in a 10-point defeat. Gustavus wins the first set 25-15. to 15. Got another email into wildcatsbooth at gmail.com. Love hearing from the listeners, whether they're rooting for the Gusties or the Wildcats. This next writer is obviously rooting from the Wildcats and watching in Little Falls. It's Grandma and Grandpa Flatness uh, watching Hannah Flatness. Diane writes in. So we've got a duo watching and keeping a close eye on the Wildcat middle, middle blocker, Hannah Flatness, who did score, I think, in that first set. Yes, she had a kill. The junior out of Elk Mound off to a good start on this day, although the Wildcats come up short in set number one. Let's take a short break. When we come back, it'll be the second set. The Wildcats will look to even this thing up at a set apiece. Here in St. Paul, you're listening to Wildcats Volleyball. Again, keep the emails coming. Wildcatsbooth at gmail.com. Gustavus, one game to none. Second set coming your way when we come back. As a family-owned and operated business since 1971, Goodmanson Construction continues to develop concrete relationships with their commercial and residential customers throughout the Upper Midwest. Questions or concerns about concrete, asphalt, and the company's installation process, check out their website at GoodmansonConstruction.com. Thank you, Goodmanson Construction. A proud sponsor of Wildcat Athletics since all the way back in 1971, the Universal Athletic Team has been passionate about fueling the dreams of athletes, and they put all their know-how into doing just that. By servicing and selling athletic gear to local athletes, high schools, and colleges, Universal Athletic has dedicated its heart and soul to the support of sports, fitness, and health programs in schools and communities. Transporting Wildcat athletes is in the capable hands of Northfield Lines Incorporated, dedicated to ensuring that your travel experience is a positive one. Call to request a quote or to make a reservation at 888-670-8068 or visit their website at northfieldlines.com. Twin Cities Orthopedics offers a full spectrum of orthopedic care to individuals suffering sports-related problems and injuries. Their doctors are team physicians for St. Catharines University as well as Augsburg University, Hamlin University, and others around the state of Minnesota. Visit TCOMN.com and thank you to Twin Cities Orthopedics. Welcome you back into the Butler Center here in St. Paul. Matt Nelson back with you alongside of engineer Tom Ritchie. Thank him for all of his hard work here. Doing the hard stuff, the pushing of buttons and the turning of levers and uh, really the muscle behind the operation so that we can bring you Wildcat Volleyball. Reminder, folks, follow the Wildcats on social media. Find them on Facebook at St. Kate's Athletics and St. Kate's VB for volleyball. And you can find them on Twitter as well, St. Kate's Athletics and St. Kate's VB. And where else? YouTube at SCU Wildcat Athletics. And if you still haven't had your social media appetite satisfied by Facebook, uh, YouTube, or Twitter, you can find them on Instagram, at St. Kate's Athletics and at St. Kate's VB. So they've got you covered wherever you are on social media. Boy, you can find uh, St. Kate's Athletics, no doubt about that. Bring you back in here. Thank you for the emails into wildcatsmooth at gmail.com. Love hearing from the listeners, and thank you for spending a part of your weekend with MIAC Volleyball and TJSportsOnline.net and our coverage. The first uh, first set stats, boy, it's a tale of uh, two different offenses. Gustavus that started out so poorly offensively ended up hitting 393 in that first set. Here comes Pepper scoring the opener for the Wildcats. They score first. Pepper puts one on the board, and the Wildcats lead at 1-0. They score first just as they did in the first set against this Gustavus team. That is awfully good. And I think you saw, folks, when they got into their rhythm and into their groove uh, offensively, boy, they were hard to slow down, no doubt about it. Holton sets middle, swinging there was Haugen. That's dug out by the Wildcats. Pepper attacks there to dig it out. It was Holton. Now Luthmers. That's the left side. Holton attacks and scores. Kate Holton scores her third kill. And we've got another note in. The first time that we've heard today from the 
Gustavus fan base, the Gusties. Some of my best friends out there are Gusties, so I have a hard time bad-mouthing them too badly. Point for the Wildcats. Isaacson is their second kill. This one co comes from Tom and Carol Welsh. They are watching carefully from a town that I am all too familiar with, Kansas City, Missouri. Thank you for writing in and thanks for watching. Tell you more about that here in just a second. Pepper swings left side. Oh, what a dig by Holton. She just stuck that southpaw out, that left hand, and dug it like it was nothing. Isaacson left side try. Luthmers was there but couldn't get it. Isaacson has her third kill. So undoubtedly the Welsh is watching from Kansas City, watching closely 18 in black and gold. Ikea Welsh, freshman from Kansas City. I was married in Kansas City. My wife is from Kansas City. So what do you think of that action? Not getting, not getting too big of an ovation up here from our engineer, Mr. Ritchie, but that's an interesting tidbit for you. St. Thomas More Church down there, and then we celebrated with all kinds of barbecue downtown. Point for the Wildcats. So I really don't have much of a choice. I know my Kansas City, but I do enjoy it. The barbecue, we love going to the Chiefs games down there, and they've had a lot to see this year with uh, that second-year quarterback, Mahomes. Luthmer is out of the back row, bumps it over. Back setting right side, the Gustavus block was there. Amaker was there and waiting to dig it out. The Wildcat libero. Holton pops it up for Luthmers. Right side try. Tapped over by Hansen. Wildcats were there and waiting for it. Nelson back row. And she scores it out of the back row. Nelson's second kill. But what's more troubling about that Kansas City factoids is I have an easier time remembering the names of my favorite barbecue restaurants than the church that I was married in. And uh, you can see how that, uh, I may need to answer to that when I get home. I may need to do my research, but it is awfully good food. <laughs> Wildcats on top, six to two. This is deja vu, the first set that's on the Wildcats spring out to a six to one lead. Isaacson, oh, great shot off of the left side for the Wildcats. Lauren Isaacson, the freshman, has her fourth kill, and the Gusties can watch no more. They take their first time out of the afternoon, and we'll take one with them. A 7-2 lead in the first set for the home team. Wildcats leading the number 11 team in the country in Division Three. You save us at Adolphus College, or uh, volleyball when we come back from St. Paul. Exceptional service and selection Look no further than Fury Motors in St. Paul. They're the number one family-owned dealer to buy a Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, or Ram since all the way back in 1963. So much to choose from, and they make the shopping process easy, also offering genuine service and financing. Visit stpaul.furymotors.com for more information. People's Electric Company is your full-service electrical contractor, one of the Upper Midwest's largest. From building and process automation, communications, construction services, energy savings, testing, and maintenance. Founded in 1922 by William F. Lindbergh and located in St. Paul, find out more information on People's Electric Company at www.peoplesco.com. And with that, we bring you back into the gym here at the Butler Center. Thanks to that email from the Welshes watching from Kansas City. Sent me into a feverish search during our commercial break to confirm, yes, it was St. Thomas More Church in Kansas City proper. So I had the name right. I know more than my Kansas City barbecue. As the, Gus the Gusties come out of the timeout and score, they find Hannah Albers. That was a good place to start for them. I mean, she was the hot hand late in that. Uh, first set and they go back to her right out of the timeout normally out of that timeout you look for your hottest hitter they found it in Albers and they score to make it seven to three here comes Isaacson she was blocked oh that, we'll call that one a solo block and it was Welsh Kaikeo Welsh with the block the third of the afternoon for Gustavus and I'm going to give her credit on that one solo Isaacson lined up on that right side, tried to redirect it back towards the middle of the floor, and that's where she found Welsh. 
Luthmers, they dig. Gusties will set a back row try, Holton. Nelson got two hands on it, sent it straight up. It's chased down and rolled back over by Isaacson. Holton bumps left side, swinging there was Albers. Wildcats were ready for it and should have a good look here. Roll shot, Carmen dug out. Here comes Holton on the right side and she miss hit it badly. Miss hit for Holton, a point for the Wildcats. It's an eight to four lead and you know, I ran into Todd Nelson. He's the second year head coach for the Wildcats as he sends in Orissa Kish as a serving specialist. She leads the Wildcats with 20 aces this year. And I talked about this grueling start to their season in the MIAC as Albers goes long and the Wildcats lead it by five, nine to four, the lead. But he said, we're, we're less worried about in this part of our schedule wins and losses early in the season. We know we have a young team. We know we're in the middle of a process as Kish Hits one into the tape, second service error for the Wildcats. We know we're in a process. We know we're in a bit of a rebuild. We know we have young players. We know we're playing some of the best teams in our conference early on. I'm more worried about the process and making sure that we're doing things the right way. So if you're looking at it through that lens, as out of the middle, Welsh scores her second uh, kill. One and a half kills per set for Welsh. City of Fountains like that one, undoubtedly watching along, 9-6 now. But if the Wildcats today, as much as they'd love to upset Gustavus, as Tebbin has her first kill, the sophomore out of New London scores out of the middle. Um, if they could win just a game or a set against Gustavus, you'd be hard pressed not to call that a winning day for St. Kate's. Now, they want to pull off this upset, there's no doubt about it, as Holton cuts into the Wildcat lead, it's 10 to seven. Third kill for Kate Holton. But if, if indeed you are worried about process and results following doing things the right way, then, you know, pulling a set away from the number 11 team in the country, that's uh, not a bad place to start. Good job by uh, Schwarzrock to hang back on that one and pick it out of the net. Into the middle, attacking there was Haugen. Dug out nicely by the Wildcats. Nelson, her try. That was dug out out of the back row by Gustavus. Here comes Holton, and it's blocked out of bounds. Another kill for Kate Holton. She leads all scores with her five kills. Roll shot by Carmen. Holton sets left side. Oh, that was just a bomb. Bombs away by Kate Holton. As she reared way back with that right shoulder and got a clean smack at it. And you saw that big ricochet. I don't know if it caught someone's shoulder or their mug, but that was a big swing by Holton. She has her fifth kill, and the Gusties have clawed their way back to within one. They can tie it at 10. Wildcats will try Nelson. Got it through the block, but dug out of the back row. Over on second contact was Nora Holton. Picked out of the, no, they're going to say it hit the antenna. And so it's a point for Gustavus. They tie it at 10 apiece. My last thought on that last email, our engineer over here, Glenn Thompson, who does a lot of work with TJSportsOnline.net, he always asks me to run down my favorite barbecue restaurants whenever he gets somebody writing in from Kansas City. I'm not going to do that today. I'll just give number one. It's Gates. There you go. I said it. Nelson, left side, through the block, dug out of the back row by Gustavus. Holton will try the left side. Finds her sister, and Kate Holton has her seventh kill. And a timeout taken. The Wildcats, again, deja vu setting in on St. Paul. They jumped out just as they did in the first set to a big lead. But we've seen Gustavus coming on strong in this second set. They lead it 11 to 10, and you're watching Wildcat Volleyball. ...is proudly supported by the Ryan Company, the Hickey Family, U.S. Bank, the Loeffler Companies, Cone U.S., and the Opus Group. Wildcat supporters this season also include Shapco Printing, Sodexo, Terra General Contractors, the O'Neill Group, ProTech Designs, and Floors by Becker. Other Wildcat sponsors include McGough Construction, the DLR Group, Push Pedal and Pull, the Newman Family, 
Sava Tree, Jimmy John's, and Munchie's Frozen Yogurt. Welcome you back into St. Paul, our coverage of Wildcat Volleyball here on tjsportsonline.net. Elsewhere around the MIAC, what's going on today? It's a busy day for volleyball. Obviously, here we've got St. Kate's hosting Gustavus, but uh, let's see in Arden Hills, Bethel out to a 16-3 start to the season, and they swept St. Olaf. That was a good match. St. Olaf is off to a 13-3 start themselves, but Bethel sweeps. It was a close one. Wildcats out of the timeout, get a big swing out of Nelson. Nora Holton picked it just off of the antenna, bumped back over by the Gusties. Kish will set that right side, and Carmen scores. Emily Carmen has her second kill, and we're all tied up at 11 apiece. How close was the Bethel-St. Olaf match? It was until it wasn't. Bethel uh, won the first set 25 to 22. Extra points in the second set, they won 27 to 25. After that, St. Olaf said no mas, and they were blown out by Bethel 25 to 11 as the Royals swept that one three sets to none over in Arden Hills. 11-11 our score here. Out of the middle, Haugen turned away, bumps it back over. Nelson, now Bunning sets Nelson who missed wide, and she knew it as she grimaced as soon as she hit that one. Elsewhere around the MIAC, Concordia at home taking on St. Mary's. No score in from that one. Up in Moorhead. Out of the middle, big swing by Pepper. Luthmers dug it out, but nobody was home to pick it out of the net. Brittany Luthmers is saying, hey, I did my job. I stood it on the fastball and picked it out to that net, but after that, nobody was there to clean it up for Gustavus. Wildcats will take it. Both teams with a dozen. Elson top spinning shot. Nora Holton chases it down. There's Kate Holton. One of the few times the Wildcats have been able to dig her out. They do it here, though. Pepper goes high over the walk and misses long. Gus Davis leads again 13 to 12. So Saint, uh, Concordia hosting St. Mary's. Hamlin at home. That's just up the road up Snelling Avenue here in the Midway neighborhood in St. Paul. They are home today over at Hutton hosting the Augies. 13-12 your score here. Anybody's set in this second set. Wildcats trying to even it up at a set apiece. Great dig out of the back row. Picked out, and it's four hits. It was picked out at the last second by Aaron Cuts. Our first look at Cuts, the sophomore, and another one from Osceola on this team. Wildcats have a pair from Osceola. The other one being Mackenzie Pepper. There's Cuts swinging away. Holton is there. Boy, that passing game has been pretty good today for Gustavus as that one falls out of bounds and a point for Gustavus. 15 to 12 the lead for the Gusties. I'm seeing double. Cuts will go back to serve. Gustavus 15, Wildcats 13. Holton sets right side. Swing on there by Lauren Hansen. She caught fire late in the first set. She has her first kill in this second set. Three now on the afternoon for Holton. Wildcats will try to left side. Isaacson. Dug out by Albers, who will get a swing at it. She was blocked, kept it alive, picked out of the net by Welsh. Now Albers. Isaacson there to dig it out. Now Isaacson tries, got it through the block. Albers got her left hand on it. Luthmers carried it. It's a point for St. Kate's. And this one is very close, 16-14. This is anybody's game right now. Megan Schwarzrock will come in to serve. Averaging four and a half assists per set, comes in here to do the setting duties and as a serving specialist, Gustavus handles it nicely. Hansen, dog out by Amaker, now setting middle and the Wildcats score it there. It's Aaron Tebbins second kill and it is a one point set. Wildcats are giving Gustavus all they can handle in this second game. Low pass but nicely handled by Holton, Welsh couldn't put it down. Into the middle, the Wildcats middle blocker does. It is Aaron Tebbins, third kill. 
And we are all tied up at 16 to 16. No timeout from the Gustavus bench. We'll play it on. Schwarz Rock serve. Nifty pass for Holton. She'll set the slide. There goes Welsh. Dug out of the back row by St. Kate's. Now Carmen roll shot. Diving dig out of the back row by Holton. Right side try. That's out of bounds. Hansen misfires. And the Wildcats claim a 17-16 lead. No timeout from Coach Sheridan and the Gustavus bench. Wildcats on a great run in the second game. Holton settles in underneath this one. She'll set the back row. Kate Holton tries. Amaker digs it out. Here comes Isaacson. Good dig out of the back row by Gustavus. Holton over on second contact. Nora Holton does the setting. She has her third kill, and we're going to nickname her the Rally Killer because have you noticed when she goes to that second touch, it's normally when the other team has corralled some momentum and is getting out on a great run. And again, she stems the tide, and we're tied at 17 to 17. Isaacson left side, dug out by Luthmers. Here comes Holton. She'll set left side. Albers dug out beautifully by Nelson. Now right side attacking. And just long, no touch at the net. Todd Nelson wants the call. He's not going to get it. Carmen thought it may have been touched at the net. The officials say no. Gustavus leads at 18-17. Knuckling serve is out of bounds from Cox. Point for the Wildcats on the third service error from Gustavus. The Gusties had 10 aces on Wednesday night. Just up the block against McAllister today, they're still looking for their first. Kish, low lining serve. Holton over on second contact. Kish was ready for her this time. Here comes Nelson off the left side. Oh, that was turned away out of the middle by Welsh. Now Kish sets right side. Carmen turned away, kept alive. Tebbin was in there. Now Nelson left side. Out of bounds, point to Davis. 19-18 lead for the Gusties. <laughs> Gustavus 4-0 in conference play, Wildcats 0-4. But you wouldn't know that looking at the score right now, and there's the first ace for the Gusties. And just as soon as I started talking about what a great job the Wildcats have done in receiving the serves, no aces for the Gusties. They get one, but they give it right back. Albers tries to sneak in a short fl floating serve. It's into the tape. No lucky bounce, so we're back to just a one point set. 20 to 19, the new score from St. Paul. Amicus serves. Holton over on second contact. Block was there and ready for it. Here comes Holton left side. Dug out of the back row by Kish. Defensive specialist. Nelson into the block, kept alive. Holton will attack. That's dug out by the Wildcats. Schwarzrock was there. Now Nelson, Luthmers. Digs that one. Holton left side. Dug out beautifully by Amaker. Great rally. Great point as Nelson gets out of bounds. And a point for Gustavus. No touch at the net. Wildcats not getting a lot of help from those gusty blockers. Anything that's been wide or long has been peeled off by the Gustavus block. No touches at the net. Anderson in to serve. Amaker, good pass ahead for Schwarzrock. Nelson left side. Blocked but kept alive by Kish. We'll try it right side this time. Roll shot from Carmen. Worked ahead. Holton into the middle. Haugen couldn't get it down. Now Kish is there. She'll set right side. Got it. Might have gotten away with two hits. Holton left side. Holton through the block. That's dug out. And sent back over by Gustavus. It hit the antenna. And they're going to say a point for the Gusties. That's a big one, too. It pushes their lead to three. And Todd Nelson... We'll take a timeout. Let's do the same. Let's take a deep breath. And when we come back, an exciting finish of this second set from St. Paul. As a family-owned and operated business since 1971, Goodmanson Construction continues to develop concrete relationships with their commercial and residential customers throughout the upper Midwest. Questions or concerns about concrete, asphalt, and the company's installation process, check out their website at GoodmansonConstruction.com. Thank you, Goodmanson Construction. 
A proud sponsor of Wildcat Athletics since all the way back in 1971, the Universal Athletic Team has been passionate about fueling the dreams of athletes and they put all their know-how into doing just that. By servicing and selling athletic gear to local athletes, high schools, and colleges, Universal Athletic has dedicated its heart and soul to the support of sports, fitness, and health programs in schools and communities. Well, the Wildcats need points, and they need them quickly. Gustavus leads 22-19 as we welcome you back in. The two sets appeared to be a mirror image of each other with the Wildcats jumping out to early leads in both the first and second set. The difference, though, in between the two sets is what has happened since then. In the first set, Gustavus woke up, ran away, and never looked back. In the second set, Gustavus came on strong, and the Wildcats were there to push back. So here we are, 22-19, Gusty's leading and serving. Nelson, dug out by Anderson. Here comes Holton, sent back over, dug out. Now Kish sets Carmen on the right side. Not a great dig out of the back row by Gustavus, but enough on it. Kish will tap it to the left side. Nelson, roll shot. Out of the middle, Haugen was there, dug out by Schwarzrock. And there's a block for the Gusties. They turn away Carmen. In on the block was Haugen and Kate Holton. Fourth block for Gustavus. Wildcats just have one, and they'll reach into their bench. Nelson will head to the bench, and we'll get a look at uh, Rihanna Leverantes. Twenty-three, nineteen. Floors rock into the middle. Cuts through the block, kept alive. Holton blocked, and the Wildcat fans wanted four hits. No such call. Oh, we'll play on. Turn away is Haugen. She kept it alive. Holton was there. Now into the middle. Cuts did well just to get a left hand on it. Sent back by Nora Holton, and that was pretty much the equivalent to a. Basketball reverse layup. That was just a very nice shot. Fourth kill for the KG veteran, Nora Holton. She is crafty. She's got a lot of shots in her repertoire that she can lean on. 24-19 the score. That means it's set point. Wildcats need five in a row. They'll try the left side. That's dug out. Holton sets into the middle. And a scorching, sizzling shot by Sam Haugen wraps up this second set. 25-19 your final score. Gustavus wins set number two. Wildcats sprung out to a big lead. Gustavus pushed back. The Wildcats were there with an answer, but in the end, the Gusties just had too much for the Wildcats as they win the second set 25 to 19. Let's break. It's the third set coming your way. The Gustavus uh, Gusties will go for a sweep. The Wildcats will try to force a fourth set. That's when we come back. And uh, we can listen downstairs. It sounds like they're honoring alumni here. So let's listen in as they honor these Wildcat alumni. Transporting Wildcat athletes is in the capable hands of Northfield Lines Incorporated, dedicated to ensuring that your travel experience is a positive one. Call to request a quote or to make a reservation at 888-670-8068 or visit their website at northfieldlines.com. Twin Cities Orthopedics offers a full spectrum of orthopedic care to individuals suffering sports-related problems and injuries. Their doctors are team physicians 
for St. Catharines University as well as Augsburg University, Hamlin University, and others around the state of Minnesota. Visit TCOMN.com and thank you to Twin Cities Orthopedics. For exceptional service and selection, look no further than Fury Motors in St. Paul. They're the number one family-owned dealer to buy a Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, or Ram since all the way back in 1963. So much to choose from, and they make the shopping process easy. Also offering genuine service and financing. Visit stpaul.furymotors.com for more information. People's Electric Company is your full-service electrical contractor, one of the upper Midwest's largest. From building and process automation, communications, construction services, energy savings, testing, and maintenance. Founded in 1922 by William F. Lindbergh and located in St. Paul, find out more information on People's Electric Company at www.peoplesco.com. Welcome you back into St. Paul. Matt Nelson alongside of engineer Tom Ritchie. We welcome you back into the Butler Center on the campus of St. Catherine University. Gustavus leading the Wildcats two sets to none. Taking a look at the stats from the first two sets. The Gusties hit 393 in the first set. They came back to earth in set number two hitting 189. That's why it was closer, obviously. The Wildcats uh, hitting an even, uh, let's see, uh, right at a flat zero right now. They hit a negative percentage in the first set and uh, went north of that in the second set. So right now, 17 kills on 85 tries for the Wildcats. For the Gusties, 30 kills on 81 tries, hitting 259 for the match. 20 assists for Holton. And out of the gate, it's Hanson scoring for the Gusties. First time this afternoon that Gustavus has scored first. Kate Holton with eight kills. Nora Holton with five. Sam Hogan with three, Hansen, Lauren Hansen with five, Albers has six, Welsh with three of her own. I mentioned the 20 assists from Holton. Nine digs from Luthmers as well. Another kill for Hansen, her, her sixth. And it's a 2-0 lead for the Gusties. And this is where we'll see what St. Kate's is made of. It, it's a bit reminiscent, I suppose, of the St. Olaf Bethel match I was talking about earlier. It was close until it wasn't. The Wildcats probably threw what they felt like was their best punch. That's a nifty little slide shot by Aaron Tebbin. It was nearly dug out by Luthmers, but you could hear it up here. You could hear the hardwood connect with that ball. So two to one with Nelson at the service line. But, uh, you know, you probably feel like, boy, we threw our best punch there, you know, but you've got to rally back and see if you can't force this fourth set as Amaker carried it. Hasn't been a good start to this set though with Gustavus up three to one. For the Wildcats, they have been led uh, by a pair of attackers. Tebbin has five kills. Pepper has five as well. And their leading setter has been Bunning with her nine kills, leading the way with Diggs. Amaker with eight. Luthmer's perfect pass up ahead for uh, Holton, and it's blocked out of bounds. Credit Albers with the sixth kill of her afternoon, and it's four to one. Short serve, Wildcats were there and ready for it. Pretty good pass. Sliding there was Tebbin, dug out by the Gusties. They'll set right side. Welsh collected the block and sent it over for her easiest kill of the afternoon. Third for Kaikea Welsh. And funny, it's funny the more matches you do over the years, how closely you can almost predict what's going to happen. That's why when something, somebody really has an unbelievable day, it's so remarkable hitting error for the Wildcats. You look at the season stats and where we are in this match. Welsh averages one and a half per set. She just got her third. We're in the third set, right about on her season average. Holton, same thing. She's got seven. She averages three and a half per set. So you can see that Gustavus has a system that they want to use. Their setter, Holton, knows where she wants to go with that ball. And today's match is shaking out very much like, predictably, the rest of their season is gone. I, I love the trend to analytics in sports, especially in baseball. I think it has a place in volleyball as well. There's Welsh with her fourth. And a 7-2 to lead for the Gusties. Again, this is where a bit of a gut check time for St. Kate's. You have played exceptionally well 
in moments in the first two sets. Can you find one more push here and force this fourth set? Bunning sets left side. Tip shot there from Isaacson sent back over. Now there's Albers. Wildcats are scrambling around for it. Cox was there to dig it out. Now Albers dug out by Bunning, chased down by Amaker, slapped over the net by Tevin. Now Isaacson blocked, popped it back over the right hand. Quick reflexes there. Welsh, Amaker got a hand on it. Nelson is able to chase it down, and Isaacson sends it back over. Who's going to get this try? Holton on second contact. Dug out by Bunning, her counterpart. Sent back over. Holton again. If she sees any gym floor, and there's not a blocker in that direction, her first instinct is not to set the ball. It's to go ahead and uh, take a swing at it. Her fifth kill. I'm impressed. 8-2. Isaacson goes cross court. That's dug out. Now Albers again. Cross court try. Tevin. That's out of bounds. Nightmarish start in this third set for the Wildcats. It's 9-2. And a timeout on the floor. Todd Nelson takes his first of this third set. We'll do the same. It's been all gusties in the third set. You're watching MIAC Volleyball from St. Paul. Wildcat Apps is proudly supported by the Ryan Company, the Hickey Family, U.S. Bank, the Loeffler Companies, Cone U.S., and the Opus Group. Wildcat supporters this season also include Shapco Printing, Sedexo, Terra General Contractors, The O'Neill Group, ProTech Designs, and Floors by Becker. Other Wildcat sponsors include McGough Construction, The DLR Group, Push Pedal and Pull, The Newman Family, Sava Tree, Jimmy John's, and Munchies Frozen Yogurt. Checking the out of town scoreboard, see if any further scores have come in from around the MIAC in volleyball. And the only final we have in is still that Bethel match. They swept St. Olaf earlier today in Arden Hills. And out of the timeout, a service error from Kylie Cox. The fifth service error for Gustavus against just one service ace. Again, they had 10 of those the other night against McAllister. For the Wildcats, their next home match will be on October 6th. That's a week from today, 3 o'clock first serve against McAllister. They'll play a non-conference match on Wednesday night at UW-Superior. 9-3 score. Uthmers is there with the dig. Nolton tried to go over on second contact, and I believe whether it's into the net or out of bounds, that's her first miss of the afternoon. A hitting error for Holton. And a 9-4 score. Wildcats cut the lead to five. Back row try. There's Cox. She's got a good swing on her, and we'll call it a block for Welsh. Actually, we'll call it a... Oh, now are they going to say a point for St. Kate's? Yes, they are. They're going to call, so I'm going to have to scratch out that fifth kill for Welsh. They're going to say she went over the net. It's hard not to when you see that slow-moving object coming right towards you with no block in front of you, but they'll say Welsh went over the net. And so we'll take that point off the board for Gustavus. 9-5, to five, your new score. Wildcats setting up back under it. Nelson, now Isaacson, tap back over. Here comes Holton. She will try Albers. That's blocked but kept alive. Luthmers is there. And a hitting error as Nolton, or pardon me, Holton backed up and backed Welsh right out of the way. Took a swing at it and immediately misfired into the net. Looked back and said, my bad. It was almost like Nora Holton didn't know that Welsh was there in her back pocket. Back row try. Out of bounds. A rare miss from Kate Holton. And some Gustavus mistakes have brought the Wildcats back to within two. 9-7, the new score from the Butler Center. Luthmers 
for Holton. Now Albers dug out by Isaacson. Towards Rocks, that's middle. Flatness was there to swing at it. Luthmer is there to dig it out. Albers kept alive Welsh, and that's where Holton will head right back with it, but it's out of bounds. The point for St. Kate's. The Wildcats have climbed to within one off of the hitting air. It's 9-8. Wildcats can tie it up here. Holton sets left side and a miss hit there. It was miss hit by Embacher, the sophomore out of Mankato, Haley Embacher. Comes up short. And we're all tied up 9 9. Wildcats have come way back to tie this thing up. And then a service error, Schwarz Rock goes long. The third error of the afternoon for the Wildcats. The first to double digits in this third game is Gustavus. And Mocker serving, short serve and an ace. There's the second ace for Gustavus. The number 11th ranked Gusties have their second ace against the five errors. 11-9 the new score. Gusties by two. Schwarz Rock sets left side. Pepper was there. Now Holton for Holton. Eight swings at it. Amaker chases it down, but it's into the antenna. And a three-point lead for Gustavus. Kate Holton gets credit for her eighth kill. Wildcats have already used one timeout in this third set. Gustavus still has their full complement. Here comes Pepper. Nice swing dug out by Cox. Now Kate Holton drew the block and scores. Kate Holton has her ninth. She leads all scores in the game, and it's 13-9. Good serve and an ace. Haley Embacher has the ace, and the Gusties have seemed to gone away from that power topspin knuckling jump serve and they're going to more of the short floaters, the knucklers, 14-9. And as the Wildcats go into the middle, well, that's out of bounds, it's 15-9. With TJ Sports Online.net we used to cover, well I'll tell you that story when we come back, it relates to serving and the difference in serve-receive. But we'll talk about it when we come back. 15-9, to nine, the Gusties on top. It's set three from St. Paul. As a family-owned and operated business since 1971, Goodmanson Construction continues to develop concrete relationships with their commercial and residential customers throughout the Upper Midwest. Questions or concerns about concrete, asphalt, and the company's installation process, check out their website at GoodmansonConstruction.com. Thank you, Goodmanson Construction. A proud sponsor of Wildcat Athletics since all the way back in 1971, the Universal Athletic Team has been passionate about fueling the dreams of athletes, and they put all their know-how into doing just that. By servicing and selling athletic gear to local athletes, high schools, and colleges, Universal Athletic has dedicated its heart and soul to the support of sports, fitness, and health programs in schools and communities. Matt Nelson back with you here in St. Paul. Right now, the Gusty is leading two games to none over St. Kate's, and they hold on to a six-point lead. It's 15-9. Before we went to break, I was going to mention that uh, we used to carry uh, gopher volleyball uh, in the Big Ten. And, you know, sometimes you'd see these servers come in, and they could hit some of the most unbelievable power, top-spinning jump serves. I mean, you put a radar gun on this stuff, it's just unbelievable what these athletes can do. And I used to do matches with Christine Tan, who was a Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. And she had told me that she would take those all day long, that they're easy because you know about where it's going to be. The ones they hate are the slower knuckling serves like we've seen from Gustavus. And when you stand behind these players, you can see that some of these serves move two to three feet. That's out of bounds, and it's a 16-9 Gustavus lead. So it's the difference between trying to hit a straight 95-mile-an-hour fastball with a dig and hitting something 
that is, you know, uh, 85 miles an hour, but moves two feet. Nineteen seven, the new score. Still Embacher at the service line. Scores rock into the middle. Flatness turned away. Kept it alive. Second crack at it for Gustavus. A kill and a smile there for Annalie Olson Sola from Northfield, Minnesota. One of the more seldom used players. And she had a good rip at it and a big smile on the way down. 18 to 9 the score. St. Kate's looking for answers. Isaacson blocked. And credit that block to Sola and Kate Holton. Fifth block for Gustavus. And St. Kate's is going to reach into their bench. Here comes Victoria Sweetly. A five foot nine sophomore. And we heard from the Sweetly family in our inbox earlier on. Acro try from Nelson. Into the middle, that's out of bounds. Good job by the official to get out of the way of that one. Had some flames coming out of the back end of it. Larissa Kish in, 20 aces on the year, best for St. Kate's. They've got to push one last surge in them. They're going to need it now. High set left side, and Kate Holton is in double digits, her 10th. That leads all attackers. There's no doubt that Gustavus is going to be a handful in the MIAC's postseason in volleyball. They're in first place right now, obviously, with that unblemished 4-0 record. St. Ben's is right there with them, and I mentioned the Wildcats have played them as well. So right now the Wildcats, after today, in their first five MIAC matches, will have played first place Gustavus, first place St. Ben's, second place Bethel, and then they mixed in St. Mary's in there. St. Mary's right now. With a conference record of one and three. But you've got four out of those five matches against the top four in the conference. That one's out of bounds for Pepper. It's 22 to 10. And this will end up resembling a bit the Bethel St. Olaf match from earlier on today that very close early, but in the end, Gustavus getting harder and harder to see the gusty taillights in this third set. Uh, but the Wildcats do get a kill. This one comes from Leverantes. Twenty-two to eleven. Little pass picked out of the net, bumped back over by Luth Mers. Left side and a kill there. Everentes again. Her second kill. Nice job for the freshman out of Andover. Ten point lead for Gustavus. Wildcat serving with a ten point deficit. Holton, left side with the left hand. Kept alive, here comes Pepper. Dug out nicely by Cox, into the middle. Kept alive, sent back over, back and forth we go. Joust at the net, one by Gustavus. We'll give the kill on that side of the net to their new setter. That's Johnson, the junior. Mattia Johnson, out of Kassen. And Johnson will go back to serve. Gusty's two points away from wrapping this one up. Wildcats, Johnson got a hand on it. Now Luthmer sent it back over and four hits is called. No, they're gonna say actually that last touch by Hansen, she carried it. So the Wildcats again trailing by 10. We'll send back Munning to the service line. Pass worked ahead, right side. Holton was blocked nicely by the Wildcats. Everentes and cuts on the block. He's second. Big thanks to all the listeners for tuning in today as that's going to be a point out of the middle. 
for Nicole Hansen. Or seldom used player out of Chaska. And it is match point, 24-14. Our leading scorer at the service line, Holton. Here come the Wildcats on the left side. Luthmers ahead into the middle, and there's a block for St. Kate's again in the middle. Aaron Cuts, third block for St. Kate's. So match point will have to wait for the Gusties. The Wildcats will get another chance to serve. So the Wildcats have played four of the top five teams in the conference in their first five games. That's, that's brutal. Augsburg, Bethel, St. Saint, uh, Saint Ben's, and Gustavus, just one loss amongst all of those teams. It is match point. Wildcats will tap it over. Gusty should have a good look at this one. They'll set the left side. Dug out by Nelson. Wildcats will try the left side. One touch at the net. Now Kate Holton pops it up. Luthmers will get a crack at it. Nelson is there to dive and keep it alive. Into the middle. Dug out by Holton. They'll set right side. Tapped over by Hansen. Back and forth we go. Clearing space is Tebbin. She sends it over. Gusty's carried it. Point for St. Kate's. So those four teams have a combined record of, let's see here, 8-0, 12-1, 15-2. Oh, for the Wildcats. Their opponents are 15-2 in their first four matches. Ouch. Tebbin on the slide. It's out of bounds. And the Gusties win. That's the end of the match. It's a 25-16 final score in this third set. Gustavus wins the first set 25-15. The Wildcats jump out to another big lead in the second set before the Gusties come back and win that one 25-19. And Gusties win the third set by a score of 25-16. Next time out for the Wildcats, it is a road non-conference match against UW-Superior before coming home for a one, two, three, four, five, six game homestand against McAllister, St. Olaf, UW-Superior, Buena Vista, Luther, and UC Santa Cruz. The Wildcats fall down to 500. They are now 7-7, seven and 0-5 seven, oh and five in the MIAC. I mentioned their teams that they've played against in the conference combined record. It's like in another dimension. And for the nationally ranked Gusties, they improved their record to 14-2. and two. They are now 5-0 and oh in the MIAC, and they are riding a six-match winning streak. For Tom Ritchie, our engineer, and for all of the staff here at St. Kate's who put on all this hard work to make these broadcasts possible, as well as all of our sponsors of St. Kate's Wildcats Athletics. I'm Matt Nelson, signing off from St. Paul. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, as again today the Gusties come into St. Paul and defeat the Wildcats by way of the 3-0 sweep. We'll talk to you again next week. Lots more volleyball coming your way in the next week on tjsportsonline.net. But until we talk again in about a week or so, go Cats!